gave us a few plows and a few sprinkles, but it's long gone now. Hanging over the edge, just holding on. Check the mail. It's me. Yeah, I just received it. No, somewhere in the living room. Did you figure it out? Fine, I'll see you in three days. Don't forget to call the AC company, babe. It's too hot in that apartment. Okay, I got it. Thank you. I think the AC's fine, though, babe. It's you. That's too hot. Are you trying to seduce me? No. Maybe. Is it working? Maybe you should try a little harder. Hey, lovebirds. Hi, Kate. How are you? I have to go, babe. Yeah. Safe travel, Lens. <laughs> Thanks. See you in a couple days. All right, babe. Bye-bye. I'm still yours. Come here. <laughs> Where are so you? good to see you. Good to see you too. How was the drive? Long. Coming from New York. Geez, what is that? 18 hours? 20. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, if you didn't leave, we'd see each other more often. The things we do for love. Yeah, so they say. So where is she anyway? Greece for a few days. I didn't tell her you were coming. She's gonna love the surprise. <laughs> oh, but hey, let me show you your spot. Come on. Okay. I did. Mm-hmm. I'll get on that for you right now. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey, so I have to go send an email to one of those colleague things. So uh, make yourself at home, and when you're ready, come upstairs. I'm apartment 12, facing the pool. You got it? Yep, get it. Okay. Hey, beautiful. Hey, I forgot to tell you how much I love you. <laughs> love you too, Linz. You at the airport yet? Yeah, traffic was good for a change. Hey, um, you're bleeding, babe. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I, I think so. Last time I had a nosebleed was in the fifth grade. It must be this freaking heat. Anyway, I gotta go before I'm late. All right, hey, call me when you're there, okay? Bye-bye.
Welcome. What do you think? Your collection has grown. It has, it has. And check out my new favorite edition, El Santo. Well, his sons, but I'll tell you something. Definitely following in his father's footsteps. You should see that guy jump. It is amazing. Like no one has ever seen. Since when do you read? Oh, those are um, Lindsay's. Old books are apparently her, her new thing. I don't know. But I do know they're having a barbecue later. I had my friends come over. I figured I would introduce you Wait. to all. Sarah, just hear me out. Listen, I know it's been two years since your parents passed. It's been hard for you, but you can't forget to keep living. And I'll be honest, maybe that's why I had you come down here. Introduce you to some people, get you out. Have you not worry about work? Relax a little bit, take a little vacation? What do you say? I'll try. All right? I'll try. You've ever had your no life. Way. Are they promise. veggie burgers? Come on. No, they're not. Like those, those burgers will, <laughs> I don't know. Hope you guys are ready for this. No, no, they, those, they don't look good. No, they don't. Those are not vegetarian. They're going to be the best thing you've ever had. Those are not from Trust me. No, they're those not. not no. Sarah, come. Guys, Sarah. Sarah, this is Zach. Hi. Hi. And Kate. The world's best nurse. Oh, mm -hmm. stop it. <laughs> he says this is your first time in Florida? Yes, it is. Yeah? yeah? She drove all the way down here. Could you believe that? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I like driving. I think it's more poetic than taking the plane. She's weird like that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Alex. Meet Sarah. Hi. So that's it? You pretty much met every living soul in this community. It's just the four of you? Zach is exaggerating. <laughs> we do live here all year round. Um, I think I've been here over a year. But we have other tenants. They just come and go. That's all. Okay. Sounds a bit depressing. Nope. Pretty cool, actually. We have the, the pool for ourselves, and I can throw some awesome parties, which, by the way, next one is tomorrow. And you are invited. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Chef Will wants to know who's ready. I'm hungry. Yeah? Come on. You want cheese? Is there all cheese? Yeah. What do you want? No cheese? No cheese? One here. Take it, man. Here. Yeah. You're not safe here. You have to leave this place right now. Sarah. Hey, here. You want any? Alex. Where you going? I have stuff to do. Thanks for the beer, though. That guy has issues. Leave him alone. You know, he's weird with people. Sarah. You want right? Wearing two of my masks, and they're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was Lindsay's idea. Well, they said that they were at the movies, so. I remember you were scared to death. Oh! <laughs> that does sound like Lindsay, the inner jack outside. Yeah. How did you two meet anyway? Her parents moved up to mine in Texas when we were seven years old. And I'm playing ball one day, rolls into her backyard, and I go to get it, and she was shy, but she gave it back. So. And since I only spoke Spanish, can you imagine? We had a hard time understanding each other. Oh, kind of like now. Almost <laughs> 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 It didn't stop us from becoming friends. Well, brother and sister, kind of. Yeah. Right? And then we graduated high school <laughs> and went to New York for college. Nice. Hey, didn't you have like a night shift or something to do tonight? <laughs> yep. Got the night shift in an hour. Zinder Corporation needs my expertise in preventing hackers from getting inside the server. <laughs> you guys have some fun, though. I'll see you tomorrow at noon. Sure. All right. Adios, mis amigos. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to head out, too. Um, 
You have my number if you want to go to the beach tomorrow or anything. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. So, what do you do besides getting tanned? People take pictures of me for magazines and things like that. Interesting. Yeah. I see you work out. You think? Sarcastic much? <laughs> Not at all. I just like to know what you think of me. What if I don't want to tell you? I think you just did.
I think you're just exhausted, okay? Your long trip combined with some alcohol. Maybe you just need some sleep or something. Yes. Yes, you're, okay. you're probably right. Come on. <laughs> okay. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night. Sarah. Hey, it's me, Alex. Calm down. What's happening here? Calm down. Shh. Come with me. Yeah, you're soaked. 
Something was dragging me in that pool. But there was nothing. A few months ago, a girl spending her vacation here went missing. Her name was Jennifer. Police did some research, but they never found her. And they never will. What do you mean? I saw what happened to her. She vanished in the pool. So I'm not crazy. We have to go to the police. And you think they're gonna believe something like that? Not to mention I become a suspect if I tell them what I saw. I have to tell Will that the others know. Patience is the companion of wisdom. First get somewhere safe, then you can call Will. Will, something happened. I'm at Motel Sunrise on US1. Please call me or, or come when you get this, okay? Be careful out there, huh? Yes. Good night. Good night. strange is going on in the complex. What makes you think I care? I need someone to witness this. Don't it you have any friends? Wait, wait, wait. You know. Uh, Jim, you don't understand. We could make tons of money with this, but we have to do something before before somebody else does. And what is this something? You should come and see for yourself. Let me tell you something, little prick. If I drive down there for nothing, you're gonna pay me for my time. You won't be disappointed, I promise. Yeah, I've heard that before. I'm on my way. Thank you for coming. Of course. Sarah, I'm sorry if I'm being forward, but I have to ask, are you sure you're not taking any hallucinogens? Kate, I know we don't know each other, but 
but I don't do any drugs. Okay? Okay. I'm just having a hard time believing everything you told me on the phone. I don't understand it either. But I promise you something tried to kill me tonight. And you say that Alex saw that girl disappear in the pool. I mean, after what happened to me, why would I doubt him? I guess that's why he's always looking at the water all day. I don't understand why Will has never mentioned that a girl went missing in the complex. He hasn't? I thought he did. Maybe he was just trying to protect you. It's not a big deal. But you guys have never felt anything strange? I mean... No. But what about when swimming in the pool? We get in and out of that water all the time. I don't know what else to tell you about that. <laughs> Just think I'm crazy. Hey, I don't think you're crazy. I'm trying to make sense out of all of this too, you know? I just know I'm scared. You don't have to be scared. Would you feel better if I stayed here with you, safer? Yes, I, I appreciate it, thanks. Okay. Forgot how ugly this place is. Suit you well. Hello, Jim. So, what's this thing you want to show me? It's right there. The pool? I don't see anything. Ah! Fuck! I gotta fucking blow your head off! Mom? Made the mistake of marrying you. She was too naive to see you only want her for the money. And then you killed her. What are you talking about? Your mother died of cancer, you prick! She got sick because of you! Beating her? Alex, what is this? Humiliating her? Taking other women to her bed? What is this, Alex? She was too scared to go to the police or ask for any help. Then when she died, I became your prey. Then you kicked me out when you found out that she has set up an account in my name that you can't touch. Alex! Alex! I'm sorry! Alex, stop this! It's too late. He wants you. Alex! Stop this, please! What's going on? Uh, water. It was it was all over me. What water? <sighs> Look, it's all dry. It's just a nightmare. It was surreal. I, I'm sorry I woke you. No, you're stressed. I get it. I just think I'm... I feel I'm losing my mind or something. You know, my little sister and I, when we were kids, we used to share the same little bed. And when she would have nightmares, I'd say, take my spot and take my dreams, and I'll take your nightmares, and I'll shoo them away. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Did it work? Well... They said she slept like a baby. <laughs> Thank you.
и вы. Are you okay? Yes. I got your message when I got back from work. What's going on? You know the Queen's Guard? The one standing right outside Buckingham Palace in England? I'm sure they could hire you. You got everything they require. Ink mobility, and absolutely no emotion. <laughs> you see? You're perfect. I don't want to scare you. It was unfortunate, it was, but the police said that she was probably kidnapped. And that she met someone at a party and they probably followed her. Uh. Will? You okay? Uh. Will? What's wrong? Uh, uh, my stomach. Oh my God, you're bleeding. I'm okay, I'm okay. Here, put your head back. <sighs> the, the stomach pain, the bleeding, that's where it started. Lindsay had a nosebleed yesterday. Could it be like a symptom? I can't believe it. What? That lady was right. She's been seeing a psychic. Ever since her mother passed, and she's been trying to get in contact with her. Now, I never took the psychic seriously, but a few days before the girl disappeared, she told Lindsay that death surrounds the complex. Okay, I, I, I could go see her and she could tell us if the uh, building is cursed or something. No, Sarah, you have to go back to New York. Will's right. You should. At least until things go back to normal. Guys, I need answers. Plus, we're all being affected by something here, okay? And with what you're saying, Lindsay could also be in danger. I mean, come on. Will? Okay. I can go with you. Okay. I'll go to my apartment, do some research, see if I can find anything. Thank you. Yes? Hi. Are you Samara the psychic? Mm, the best you ever meet. And my services are expensive, young girl. Oh, um, I can pay. Cash. Of course. Fine. But whatever we find or not find today, no refunds. Sure. Yes. Follow me. Take your seat. Um. I believe there is something in the complex where I'm staying with my friends. Don't tell me. The spirits will. <clears throat> Give me your hands. Relax. Relax. 
Breathe and relax. Hum. Llamo a todos los espíritus del más allá. Hum. Que abran las puertas de su reino. Hum. Imploro al varón del cementerio. ¡Ciácara! Nothing that I want to communicate today. You're going to have to come back some of the time. But can you try again, please? What? Are you seeing something? You heard that? No. You heard that? No, I didn't hear anything. Water. Ah. There's nothing. There's no, there's no water. Ah. Oh. Oh, no. Ah. Ah. Okay, what's going on? Scaring me. <laughs> this is a joke, it's not funny, okay? You have to leave now. What? You have to leave now. Why? I cannot help you. Why? I'm sorry, you have to come back some other time. But you gotta leave now. I have some other time. See? No, Please no. tell me. I'm afraid I can help you. And to tell you the truth, you are in great danger. But, but what can I do? Go away. Please, just tell me. What happened? I don't know. I think she saw something that frightened her. Told me I was in danger, and that's it. Well, what did she see? She wouldn't tell. I mean, she basically kicked me out. Most likely a scam to take your money. Come on. You don't believe in any of this, do you? I'm sorry, Sarah. I don't doubt you. I just know that sometimes the mind plays tricks on you, and you see things that aren't really there. How would you explain that Alex saw that girl disappear in the pool? Well, if he actually saw that girl drowning in the pool, why didn't he save her? Did you ask him that? No, I, I don't know. Look, I gotta be at work in an hour. If you want, you can come with me to the hospital. We can run some tests. Maybe it's just some type of flu or something. Just take me to the motel, okay? I'll wait for Will to call. Fine. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, uh, how was your flight? Long. Sarah's here. What, what, why? What is she doing there? She wanted to visit for the week. We were gonna surprise you. That's not a good idea. You should have told me. Why, Lindsay? Is it because you saw that girl disappearing in the pool? You read my journal? Something almost... Wait. Lindsay? What was that? Lindsay. Sorry, it was just Phyllis. He's here to pick me up. Hi. The taxi's here, Lindsay. We must Lindsay, go. something is happening at the complex. I think we're all in danger. The pool. What? Vasilis. Wait, Vasil who is Vasilis? I know it sounds crazy, but there's an entity in the water. What? I lied to you, Will. I'm not, I'm not here for work. The girl in the pool, I tried to save her, but when I got there, she vanished. 
and I had to understand. I've been doing some research ever since, and it's led me to Greece. Lindsay, you know I would have helped you. Why didn't you tell me? Would you have believed me? Probably not. It's okay. Listen to me. There is a way to finish with it. We must go now. We really have to leave now. Yeah. Look, I'll call you later, my love. Don't worry. Lindsay, I need to know what... Will? Yeah. I just came out of the session with the psychic. Okay, and? Well, it was pretty scary. She said I'm in danger. I mentioned water a few times, but no specifics. Water? S Sarah, that's what Lindsay said to me. And she's not in Greece for work. She's there to find answers about whatever is going on around here. She thinks that, that there's something living in the pool. Wait, what? That's all she said. But like Alex, Lindsay saw that girl vanishing in the pool. I can't believe she never told you that. I know, but it's probably my fault. Anyway, Sarah, a week ago, an old book arrived at the house. It was written in Greek, and she was translating some parts. So I looked around the house, but I couldn't find them. I think she probably took them with her. She must have found something important in there. I'm going to start translating them online. No, but you have to call her back. I tried. She didn't pick up. OK, I'm going to go to your house to help you. Sarah? You don't come anywhere near this complex. Okay. Send me some scans. Call me if you find something, and I'll do the same. Okay. I will. Bye. Bye. Do you believe it now? Just wanted to let you know, you're not welcome to the pool party tonight. Why well, don't want you scare my guest away? You think you're better than me, just because you pose in front of a camera and they put you disgusting face in magazines. But you're obsessed over your looks, so people focus on that and they don't see your mediocrity. Look at that! He speaks. Come on, let it out. It's gonna make you feel better. I don't understand what those women see in you. You're empty. Seduction? It's an art you're far from understanding. You mean the kind of seduction you practice with those two girls that have been reported missing? <laughs> yeah. The police came by a few months ago asking some questions. I was the only one here that day. Recognized them right away when they showed me their pictures. Brandy McDowell from Palm Beach. You had sex with her right here in the storage. And the other one, Sandra Kirby, started in the pool then took it somewhere else. You have eyes everywhere, huh? FYI, I knew about all this. And as you can see, nobody ain't caught me. Zach. Hey, what's up? You've got to cancel your party. Why? I spoke to Sarah and Lindsay and there's something going on here at the complex. There's something going on with that pool. We can't have it. Are you going to believe that moron? His word I can doubt. But Sarah's... Will, how many times have we swam in there? Like, it makes no sense. Zach, Look, I know. Stop with the paranoia. I'm not calling off the party. Zach, if anything happens, you're going to be the one that's responsible then.
What are you doing here? It seems like something got stuck in the filter. So what did you tell Sarah? She's in a motel room right now, and everyone's freaking out because of you. Well, maybe you should be freaking out too, Kate. Why? What do you know? Alex, what's going on here? If you really want to know, come see me at my apartment tonight. Baby. Well, we're driving to Meteora on the top of a mountain. I I'm not sure if I'll get a signal up there, but if we lose connection, I promise I'll try to call you back. Lindsay, where is this guy taking you? I need you to tell me everything that you know. Vasilis is taking my but Linz? Can you believe that guy's still throwing a party? Alex, I'm nothing like him. I know he's an ass to you. But if you ever need anyone to talk to... Thanks. But I already have someone to talk to. Listen, Alex, I saw what happened... with your stepfather. And how he treated you the past few times he was here. I'm sorry about that. I can only imagine how difficult it was to grow up with him. But Alex, that is no reason to not open up to anyone. I mean, you, you should have said something, anything about what you saw in the pool. First, you know nothing about me. Second, the day I'll come talk to you will be the day you stop doubting my word. Alex, that's not what I meant. Please hold it for me. Babe, I'm, um, I'm getting really worried. Where are you? The monastery of Varlam. What do you mean, a, a monastery? Why are you, are you at a monastery? We need to find the well. What well are you talking about? This is where it all began. 800 years ago, the monks of this monastery managed to capture the entity of Lake Dorian. They locked it away in the well with a spell. Only the enchantment was broken and set free in order to regain its power. I quote, one who has been in contact with it can reactivate the spell by touching the water in the well and shall send it back to its darkness and keep it away from mankind. Nobody knew where the well was. Only one book mentioned it and Vasilis found it. See you, but the connection's bad. What was that? I don't know. going.
just remember the scripture says the entity turned the monks of this place into some sort of a slaves to guard the well. Okay, so you're telling me that monks could be there right now? I hope not. Okay, Linz, um, I don't like this. Could you get out of there? Listen to me, okay? I don't like this at all. Get up. Shh. Leave. Shh. Come back Shh. home. All right? We'll figure this out here. Please get out of there. Well, it's dry. No way. There's no water in it. No way. No way. No, baby, don't. What are you? Stop. Betsy. Betsy, come on. Damn it. That was our only chance. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Lindsay, listen to me. Nobody is going to die. Take the first flight back. Just come home and we will solve Lindsay, this. Come back. We have to go. Come on. Get out of there now. Come There's on, Lindsay. Water. You could do it. Get out of there. There's water everywhere. 
What's wrong? Lindsay. What? Lindsay, what? She was, uh, she was in the mon... Sarah, she was in the monastery. The monastery of Verlan? It's in the documents you sent me. She's dead! Lindsay's dead, Sarah. No. She went to the monastery and, and thought that she could help and save us all. That thing killed the love of my life! I'm sorry, Wayne. Doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter. That thing could take our lives no matter where we are. Maybe. But we're not gonna go without a fight. I'm not just gonna sit back and let it take us. There has to be a way. And if it's in these documents, we'll find it. I don't know if I can, Sarah. I really don't know if I can. Believe me, Will. I know exactly how you feel. But if Lindsay was here, she would have wanted us to fight, and you know it. The phenomenon was reported the first time by a Greek traveler that assisted a disappearance. Numerous people were reported missing under similar circumstances in Spain, Italy, and France. They didn't know if it was an entity or an evil spirit. We can only find it in sweet waters. Its power goes beyond the lake or the well it inhabits. It travels through water, and all those who have been in contact with it can meet a terrible death. It's real. something important call me back oh and whatever happens stay away from water I just got here. I tried calling Will, but he didn't answer. Okay, he's devastated. Something happened to Lindsay in Greece. What? Lindsay? Yes, it was a trap. She didn't make it. Oh my God, Lindsay. Please go check on Will. I need to talk to him. Yeah, no, no, of course. Hold on. Will? Well, is Kate, are you there? Will? Sarah, 
He's not opening the door, but I think I can hear the shower running. Kate, listen to me. Do not trust Zach. What does Zach have to do with this? The documents say the entity, it's linked to a human. It's like they make one. And to survive, this entity needs to feed from the victims it chooses. Now, the only person who brings people to that pool is Zach. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Kate, you have to go now. Yeah, I'm coming to you. Zach? We're gonna miss you, Linz. Well, what are you up to? What are you doing here, punk? I need to see Sarah. I don't think that's gonna be possible. We're a little busy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Out of all the stupid things I've had to listen to from you, that... that must be the best one. Really? A girl like her would never be interested in a dickhead like you. Say that one more time. What? The dickhead part? Do you want me to spell it out? Yeah. 
You picked the wrong guy. You have no idea. I can finish you right now. And nobody's gonna miss you. We need to talk. So he's the one who took me out of the pool? What are you doing here? I told you to leave this place. I was at a motel. That thing tried to kill me again. Lindsay has gone. Shit. Hey, come with me. I know who can help. Take me to the motel first. I need some clothes. What happened to your face? Where are you taking me to? My stepfather's. At 2 a.m. He knows how to get us out of this situation. It's right here. He probably went out. He won't be long. Can I use your restroom? It's right there.
Is everything okay? Not really. Do you want something to drink? No. I just want this to get over with. Is it gonna be long? He's not coming. He's dead, actually. What? Why are we here, Alex? To understand. Open this goddamn door! You're the only one it hasn't been able to take. What? If you don't let me leave, I'll scream for help! Alex! Alex, let me go! Alex! Let me go! You're insane! There are two ways we can do this. The hard way, or the easy way. Please let me go, okay? Please. Sh shut up. Get in there. What? Get in there. Okay. Okay. There. So it's you who makes one with it? I know. Why? Do you know the saying? Whenever we're afraid, it's because we don't know enough. Don't be afraid. You're about to find out. Don't do it, Alex. Alex is gonna kill me. Alex, Alex is gonna kill me. Alex is gonna kill me, Alex. Alex. Look what I found. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Stop. Stop. We cannot learn without pain. Do you want more sayings? I needed to make sure the entity could not take you. You put my life in danger to prove a theory? I know how to kill it. 
No I don't care. Don't you dare lie to me again. The one who's linked to the entity has a mark on his body. A little scarification. I'm sure it's Zack. If you kill him, you will also kill the entity. How do you know all that? I never saw Jennifer drowning. But I did know her. We met the same day she arrived to the complex and there was an instant connection. Like if we had been lovers in a past life. It was so real. <sighs> I had been so happy since before my mom died. And then two weeks later she was gone. I was the one who called the police. I was so sure something had happened to her. She could have just left me like that. Then a few days later, I overheard Lindsay talking on the phone, explaining how she saw Jennifer vanish in the pool. Then she started making late night calls, talking about other cases and an evil force. I tried talking to her, but she wouldn't say much. So I stole her translations the day she left. If that's true, then why haven't you killed Zack? In the scriptures, they talk about the well, but also about a legend that says that killing the host would also kill the entity, but only if it comes from the hand of the undrownable. That's you, Sarah. Sorry. I had to make sure. And how do I know the host is not you? It cannot be me. Why? Because I have fear of water, of drowning. I almost drowned when I was a kid. I don't even know how to swim. Undress. I said, Andres, or this time I go for the head. Okay, okay. Do it. Turn around. Take them off too. I said, take those gym boxers off. Put my clothes back on. Wait. Here, we're gonna need this. And how did you free yourself from the shower? Next time, use better tape. Tell Will what we know. Will, it's me. Open the door. 
He has to be in there. He's not here. What? It's what? It travels through water. And all those who come into contact with it commit a terrible death at its will. Zach knows we found out about him. He's probably killed Kate by now. And even though I haven't been in that pool, I'm sure I'll be next. This night we're gonna stop. Sorry, you can't give up right now. This may be our only chance. We have to stop it from harming other people. Where's Kate's apartment? Son of a... Make sure you stop writing the heart.
Where have you been? I was waiting for you. Don't be shy. I know you want this too. You like it rough, huh? You killed him, you son of a bitch. Where was my only family? Alex? Wait! Alex! 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 What happened? There's no mark. It's not him. No. No, that's impossible. Well, go see for yourself. I killed him. Wait. Wait. Where is he? Sir? Zack's not there. What? You did it. You made him disappear. You think he's really over? Yes. We're saved. Alex! <laughs> we thought you were dead. You are so naive, Sarah. It's 
so you are that thing. I'm not a thing. I'm Althaya. Neri is this host for the past 800 years. And I still can't see why it hasn't killed you yet. But I'm gonna fix that. Everything was going so effortlessly. Zack would constantly bring people to the pool, and he was so easy to manipulate. Even up there in the room with you. What a loss. Once I knew your friend's intentions, it was so easy to get rid of them. But you, but you. You can't kill me, can you? Let the water take you, my child. I'm so disappointed, pretty Alex. I thought you understood.
the fight. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to leave. Yes. You're alive. I'm surprised. So you knew? Nerius, yes. But there was nothing I could do for you. It makes no sense. The scripture said, if I kill the host, I kill the entity. But it didn't work. We don't kill a creature as all is humanity that easy. There is a reason why you're still alive. But I don't understand. I saw Kate die. Ah. It chose you. What? You are the host now. No. I don't want this. I didn't ask for this. Make it go. It's offering you immortality. All you have to do is offering human soul to it. But there is a way to kill it. Make sure you stop riding the heart. 